All right, I'm going to show you how to um, do audio ducking. So let's say there's a portion of the audio you want to show through um, over and be definitely louder than um, background music you have. So you can see here I have a, a background music track down here. I've got some sounds up here. But here I want to hear the dialogue of the character speaking on screen. It's important to make sure that the background music and sounds don't um, blow out the ability to hear um, whatever it is, whatever the dialogue is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use keyframes with my audio. So I'm going to go down here and click on my audio track. We're going to turn down that audio track, um, but just for the portion of the dialogue, and then we'll turn it back up. So the way I do that is I start I scrub to where I want to make sure that we can hear or hear the audio or the dialogue and turn down the music. So now I'll click on the audio. I'm going to make sure that I have the volume um, option showing up here by clicking this. And then you can see I've got my volume here. So I can turn up and down the volume for the whole track. But what I really want to do is just duck it for this moment of dialogue. So I'm going to click at the start of the dialogue. Hit my plus button here to add a keyframe and then we'll go to the end of the dialogue where we want to s turn the music back up or have it back to normal volume. I'll add a keyframe there too. But then we want to just choose two other parts in between where it will turn down. So let's go here and back over here. So you can see now we have four keyframes. I can jump back and forth between them with these buttons here. So that's my last one. And there's my first one. I want to turn down the music in here so we can hear the dialogue. So all I do is I take this line and I can turn it down. You can turn it all the way down, but what sounds better is if you just make it a little more quiet, a little more subtle. And you can see from the curve that's created between these keyframes, it slowly turns the volume down and then back up. And so when we watch this now, we can more easily hear the audio. I like Nemo. Nemo. And then it turns back up. That's how you can do audio ducking and turn down the volume so that you can hear key dialogue when it's super important, but without removing the audio or background music entirely.